is Grandma Gloria, and I'm about to show you how to make a sweet potato cream cheese pie. All right, we're going to start off with the cream cheese. You're going to need two boxes of the Philadelphia cream cheese. You're going to need a half a cup of sugar. You're going to need two eggs and, and a half a spoon of vanilla extract. So let's get this going. But before we do that, this is my pudding for the sweet potato cream cheese cake. When you make start your sweet potato pie, go to my sweet potato uh, video. But I want to iterate this again. When you prepare your potatoes, you always boil them. You don't have to peel them because you're taking some of the nutrients out. But the main thing I wanted to, you to see is how you take the strands out. And it is a lot of them. And I'm going to go over here and get a pick towel. Look at my hands. I just want to say I've never heard of a sweet potato cheesecake, so I'm really excited to see how oh, this comes out. Oh, it is one of my wild wilds. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got this water here, so when the uh, when you move the when the blade remove the strands out, I'm going to wash it. Oh, I don't think my bowl is high enough, but we're going to make it work. how you remove the strands out of any pudding, especially the sweet potato. You don't want, when you cut down in it, you see all the strands. Now, when I'm making two piles at one time, I would have to do that about five or six times because I have about four or five large potatoes. So we just take them out? Just the blades? The blades, yes. This is the first process you do before you put in the butter, any eggs, and the sugar. You move the strands. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to get. Once that is removed, follow my sweet potato recipe. Because right now, I'm going to wipe this off because I got to do my cream cheese. And so, once you do that, then you can start adding your butter and your sugar. And I don't need this anymore. So, I'm going to put this here. Okay, so, so we got to tune in. This. Okay, gotcha. With my butter, my eggs, my sugar, my nutmeg, watch the video and you can't go wrong. All right, let's start this up with the cream cheese. Such a simple recipe. In any bakery you go to, everybody wants cream cheese. They thinking so much and went into it. But you're shortcutting yourself when you don't do it this way. Make it wild, wild. First thing we're going to do, start off with a half a cup of sugar. Don't beat that up. Just blending it. And make sure you lay out the cream cheese so it can become soft. You don't want it to take it right out of the refrigerator. That's going to be heavy at first mm. because it's, that's, but you're going to see that the eggs is going to loosen it up. I always, I work with my fingers, so I got to do, I got to do me. Okay. That's right, Grandma, do you. All right. Two eggs. The 
then I'm going to put in the one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. This delicious pie that you can pay going to certain fast food places, a little slice for two dollars and something. From around the sides, you want to be well blended. Wow, it actually smelling good already. I just love the now. This cheesecake. is uh, what you would call just a simple but delicious cheesecake. Now, once I finish this, you can put it in your pie shell and bake it in the oven. Does it matter what setting you gotta put on it? No, as long as I get it nice and fluffy. But all the seeds you don't have to work so long. Okay. Now, if you just want to stop right there, you got yourself a cheesecake. Put it in the oven, 350 for 30 to 35, 40 minutes. I'll show you how to do that. That's just a nice cheesecake. Buy them every day when you go to the bakery. But I'm not a simple cooker of anything. Mm -hmm. Mines have to be wild. So this is sweet potato uh, filling. Go to how to make my sweet potato pie. Take this and we gonna put this on the very bottom of this pie. And if you've never made one before, you got to try it for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and you will never, do you hear me? Never go to just the plain cheesecake. Because when you taste it grandma's way, your mouth is going to say, wow. Whoever you introduce it to or give a slice, they're going to say, wow, wow, why did you learn to do this? Girl, you can cook. No, no. Just tell her where you got it from. Grandma Gloria's wow, wow cooking. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this up here. And we're going to put all of that cream cheese on top of that. Every last bit of it. Because you don't want the sweet potato to overpower the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese can stand on its own, but when you overpower it, and I'm gonna wash this off, I'm gonna put all of that on top of that. And then you bring it to your Thanksgiving table, or take it to a potluck at work. They gonna be saying, girl, make me one of those cakes. You say, you can make it yourself. And the grandma goes cooking. So we're going to put this all on top, put it in the oven, 350. I'm going to show you how to test it to see whether it's completely done. And for some reason, my hands are slippery. I am so excited about this cheesecake. I already love your sweet potato pie. So mm -hmm. now you're adding the cheesecake. <sighs> it's it's going to even be better. I tell you, I never thought that... Uh, this would top or overpower the sweet potato pie or uh, the ugly cake. But when I made this bad boy, and it's oh my goodness, what is this? I don't know why I'm cleaning this right because now I'm gonna put it back in here. 
I tried to get every bit. I don't lose nothing. Don't want to waste none of them ingredients. Get all okay. that money worth. This should be enough right here. Let me see, move this out. And the size, they have different size pans, so I want to make sure you get the right size. Mm hmm We got that large. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just know this is going to be so good. I, so I just know it is. So this is Grandma's Gloria sweet potato cream cheese. I'm going to say cream cheese pie because it's, it's got the uh, sweet potato in it. So mm -hmm. don't throw this away because what you're going to do, once you take it out of the oven and cool down, you're going to put that on top. Okay. So let's go over and we're going to set it for... 30 minutes for the first testing. The oven is already preheated. Okay. 350. We're gonna check it at the first 30 minutes. Okay. So there you go, you know, sweet potato, cream cheese pie. And we will see you back in a little bit. Okay, I'm taking this out. I realized one mistake I did make when you cook in a combination of sweet potato and cream cheese, it should have gone on the bottom rack. That's the reason why that you see that the top of this cheesecake is really brown because it was on the top rack. It took quite a while before this toothpick come out clear. It should have been on the bottom back. So from now on, when you're making a cheesecake with the filling on the bottom, please put it on the mill rack. The top rack makes any bakery brown faster. That was my mistake. But put your, this is a sweet potato cream cheesecake. Put it on the bottom rack. But it is completely done. Oof. And your mouth will say, wow, wow. I cannot oh, wait to try it. Oh, it's going to be delicious. Yes, one last thing. Always let your pie cool down. Since this is a uh, cream cheesecake, it does very well in the refrigerator. Let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, never throw away your little, that's up the, on, on the pie. Uh, shell for a reason. So once you remove the plastic, once it cools down, you clamp it down through here, put it in the refrigerator, and you're gonna have yourself a wow, wow pair. How long do you gotta let it uh, be in the refrigerator for? Before you once can take you, it out? Once you put it in, once it cools down, and you, want, you feel you wanna eat it right away, 10 or 15 minutes, and after you finish eating it, return it back to the refrigerator. A cream cheese uh, cake is a refrigerated pie, but because of the sweet potatoes on the bottom, it's not going to make any difference. It's still okay. going to be a delicious pie. I'll okay. see you in the next video.